I hate God and everything he stands for. I love sin because, well, because I hate God. Yep, that's right. It's not that I don't believe in him, because of course I do. There's no evidence for his existence at all. That proves it. Obviously, I'm kidding. I do harbor a certain amount of hate for concepts and even some people, but it is impossible to hate something I don't believe exists. But to be fair, if the Christian God was real, I would definitely hate him. Christians agree that one cannot hate what one does not believe in. The problem is that they are unable or unwilling to understand non-belief in Yahweh. The only perspective they can understand is their own. Not all Christians are like this, just the ones who think atheists hate Yahweh. They only understand belief in their own deity, and they project their belief onto others. They even project their faith, claiming that belief in scientific theories requires greater faith than even belief in Yahweh. They turn the basis of their own beliefs into a criticism, which only results in criticizing themselves. Maybe on some level they do it on purpose. Evidence of the Christian refusal to understand other viewpoints is, a hard, is hardwired into the religion itself. Everything that isn't of Yahweh is seen as satanic. The idea of hell was taken from a variety of ancient religions, and the image of the devil was taken from a pagan god. The pentagram, a Wiccan symbol of balance and protection, is seen by Christians as a satanic symbol. Pentagrams have nothing to do with Satan. Wiccans don't believe in him or Yahweh. But anyone who doesn't worship Yahweh worships Satan by default. Rather than learn about the beliefs of other religions, Christianity makes things up about them, like a high school kid spreading rumors about people it doesn't like. Atheists hate Yahweh and the truth, and they love Satan and sin. Atheists worship Satan, or Darwin, as a god. Never mind what atheist actually means. It's easier to make up facts than it is to actually learn them. All the knowledge a person needs is in the Bible anyway, right? That's why all of our scientific achievements were taken from it, and there were no laws before the Ten Commandments. If you believe that, I have a bridge in Brooklyn I'd like to sell you. Send me a private message for details.